Hello guys, welcome to my channel Power BI with Ross. My name is Ross and today I'm going to show you how we can use a date picker visual. Uh, this one right over here which I've created uh, using some, it's, it's just a workaround, alright, it's not a custom visual or anything. This is just a group. If I open up the selection pane, you can see I've grouped all the other different elements into one group called date picker and if I select the date slicer you can see I'm still using Power BI's default date slicer visual so it is not a custom visual but what I've done is I created that so that you don't have to create one yourself so I've uploaded a PBIX report in my drive you can uh, find the link in the description you can just open the link and download the PBIX file and open the PBIX file right and you can simply select this group the date picker group Control C copy and paste it to your report now I've created another report for demonstration purpose you can see in this report I have a very simple sales data right I have data from 1st of January to 30, 31st of January and so on so I've already copied the visual now I'm going to paste it in here and you can see there is an error because this visual is still using the date value from the pre other report, right? So it, it got deleted. So what you need to do is go to view, select this visual, go to view and selection, expand the selection and go to the date slicer. And you can see that the date value, it says uh, the field got deleted because yeah, we copied that from other report right so just remove that date value and just add the date value from your report from the table that uh, you want to uh, pick a date from right so I'm just going to use the date value from the sales table and you can see that it is back uh, the date uh, values are back available again all right now you may have noticed that uh, it says 31st of January but I'm still seeing data for 1st of January and the other dates as well so what we need to do for a date picker to work for this visual to work is apply a top and filter so for that I'll select the table visual go to filter pane and add the date oh, I've already got the date here so I'm going to use that but if you don't have that just go drag and drop the date in the filter pane right and in the filter type select top n and select enter one and go add not the product the date value in there and in the by value section and select earliest date all right so what what we're doing here is i'm applying a filter on this table where it selects the top one earliest uh, selects the values for top one earliest date so the earliest date is 31st of january right so what this basically does is gets the first the earliest date which is 31st of January and or removes all the other values all the other data all right so if I apply the filter you can see that now it's showing the data for for just 31st of January now if I go back and select 1st of January it's going to give me the data for the 1st of January if I go select the second it's gonna show me the data for just 2nd of January and so on right so let's go back to the 31st of January and now you can see that uh, the data in the table visual is does not match with the a bar chart visual right it's saying uh, eight, 18 thousand something sales amount for book but actually it's just eight thousand or something so what we need to do is we if we are using this date picker we need to apply the top end filter for all the visuals that we are using all right so I've applied for table visual I need to repeat the same step for the bar chart visual as well so I'm going to drop the date uh, value in the filters pane for this bar chart as well and repeat the same step top n top one and drop the date value in the by value section and make sure it's the earliest date and apply and now it's going to show us 8.5 5.8 0 0.2 and so on right now if I again go back to 1st of January and it's going to give me the similar data exactly the same as the one in the table now you might be using card visuals or a pie chart or a donut chart or whatever it is make sure that you have applied the top end filter in the filter pane all right 
So this is how you can use the date filter, uh, sorry, date picker in Power BI. And now there's one more thing, which is to change the background color for this uh, date picker. You can see it look, I've used the green color. So if you want to change that to a blue or uh, whichever color you want in your report, all you need to do is just select the background, the shape called BG green, go to styles and in the fill section select the color that you want to use for your visual you can select blue or whatever color you want and it will display the um it will change the color in the background all right so you just need to do that just go to the bg green and go to style go to fill and change the color that you want to use in your report so that's pretty much it uh hopefully this was uh, helpful and if you want to know each uh, all the steps that I've used to create this visual let me know as well I can create another video or it's pretty simple you can just dissect ungroup this um, visual and you can just uh, yeah segregate the elements from the group so that should do it as well but for now yes thank you very much for watching this video I hope you enjoyed it and please do subscribe to my channel and uh, yep your support means a lot to me thanks for watching uh, i'll see you next time